something that I've really enjoyed is that a lot of the time it feels like you're um, sort of wasting a lot less time because you can structure your own day uh, in a way that you don't have to necessarily do things that feel useless and you can really target your attention toward the things you need to learn and what you need to do. So uh, I really appreciated that freedom. Something that is quite different from school is sort of how much self-discipline you need to have to like structure your day and like get everything done. Whereas at school it was like structured, you'd have like lessons in the morning or whatever. Um, And I think that flexibility is really nice. I think as well with HPS, like they do have massive reading lists, but you also do have some freedom of what you write about in essays. Whereas at school there was like a mark scheme for the essay. And if you didn't hit on certain points, whereas for like at university level, I think I have been able to explore things I find more interesting in essays than things I potentially don't. Um, And I think that's sort of a nice freedom to have. I do uh, PBS, Psychological and Behavioral Sciences. And one thing I've, and you do four different papers on that. Uh, And one thing that I found is it's it's actually quite a lot like doing four A-levels, which is what I did at school. Um, Because you're doing like four quite different subjects. And uh, each week you'll you'll have to spend different amounts of time, like as you'll set different pieces of work. Uh, And then sometimes like the actual content uh, changes as well. So like earlier on, one of my papers uh, was very essay-based and now I have to do uh, statistics problem sheets uh, each week. So um, it, it was actually quite similar in, in that way to, to my school experience because uh, you're doing four quite different things and you have to sort of distribute your time accordingly uh, across the week to them. It's a lot more loosely structured than at school. Um, and yeah, it requires quite a lot of independent study doing HSBS, um, obviously a lot of reading required. Um, but then the trade-off of that is you do get a good degree of freedom in choosing what you actually study. Um, so from the papers that you choose to the topics within those uh, particular papers, you have a lot of freedom of choice, which is quite a breath of fresh air, I think, from school. As an engineer, and I think this is true for other STEM subjects, it can it's not too far from school because you end up having lectures which are quite like um, just um, quite like lessons and then you'll get set problem sheets um, maybe two or three a week and which is a bit like homework and you work through it often you'll then discuss it uh, with supervisions um, it doesn't feel too far in terms of the work sense but it, things are harder and you are expected to think more for yourself and to be your own sort of first port of call if if you need sort of help to work something out for yourself rather than just straight away asking your teacher um, but it's broadly quite similar. For like Baranatsky, you tend to have like labs, a couple labs each week, varying in like length of time. Um, but I found that really nice because in lecture halls, it's like 100, 200 students. So you don't really get to talk to people. Um, but then having those labs, it was like maybe 30 people in a room. And it felt a lot like school where you could just like sit at a lab, mess around a little bit, but just like chat to people and get to know others. I guess it's a kind of like creative angle, which is really cool um, when you're starting your degree, because you can look into loads of different resources and kind of figure out whether you agree with them or not. It's a lot more, there's a lot more independence in your degree where you can kind of delve into your own ideas about things. Um, Whereas in A-level, it was a lot more structured by your mark scheme. So there's a lot more freedom when you're studying your degree, which is cool.